Hey guys and girls, welcome, welcome back, back to, to another, another beautiful, beautiful video, video on this beautiful channel, channel on this beautiful, beautiful day. day. How are you guys and girls doing? doing? Hope, Hope you're, you're doing, doing great as always. always. Please, Please check out the description, description box for all the nice links. links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like yes. the content. Okay, are you ready? Yep, let's okay. go. So what did we do in the last video? What we did, you remember what this was? Yes. Okay. My age? <laughs> okay, good, good. But what is it called? Uh, oh, oh. Oh. No, wait, wait. Uh, co conjunction? <laughs> no! Local variable. Okay, fine. You read that. Okay, fine. Yes. <laughs> a variable. Okay, a variable. You oh. put your age in here, and then you wrote your age in to this little box variable, mm -hmm. and then it was printed out here. Remember? Mm -hmm. Yep. And then you printed this out as well, which shows, yeah. Okay? Yeah. Good, good. Okay. So we're going to use all of this today together. We're going to, including the new stuff you're going to learn. Okay? okay. So you know the English word if, right? Yes. If. So, if this or that, then that, right? If, okay? Yeah, I know the and, words. And you know the word else, right? If this, else, that, you know? Okay? All right, fine, I fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. So, <laughs> let me just explain to you what's going to happen here. So, okay. you, you, you go up here, okay. right here, and we're just going to do a little okay. test. So, uh, you have two paths, right? You're walking, and you have it's a Y junction. You're supposed to go left or right, okay? okay. If you go left, something happens. If you go right, something else happens. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what an if statement is. It, it, it divides your program up into pieces. So you can either, if this happens, something will happen in the program, mm -hmm. or if this happens, something else will happen in the program. Okay. Okay. So I want you to write if. That's it. Just if. If. And then two empty parentheses thingies. Uh. Okay. Like that. And then what you want to do is in here in is the your... Parentheses. Yeah, in the parentheses is your question thingy, like your condition. Okay, so okay. if write one, the number one, no, oh. just the number one. So a number one, and then two equals two signs. Uh, two equals. Two equals, yeah. Where is equal? There you go. Shift, and then that. But two, two of them. You want two of them. Two or four. Equal signs. Oh. Two equal signs. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Oh. oh, you mean. And remove the two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And okay. then write another no, one there. Okay. Okay. So if someone asks you one. Is one equal to one? What do you say? Yes. Yes, right? That, so this, whatever is in here is true right now. So whatever is in here can either be true or false. It's like a statement. Is your age okay. uh, 29? Is it or not? There's only two answers, right? Mm. And that's how if statements work. They check for if it's, whatever is in here is if, if it's, it's true, true or, not. or false. Exactly. Okay. So you can even write if true, but this doesn't make sense. Like what is true? But you know, if true, you can write that if you want. Anyway, control Z, control Z that. So let's just do that. What does okay. That do? Control control Z, control Z uh, reverts to what you had before. Oh, so okay. undo, undo. Okay. Okay. So if one equals one, we'll do a really simple thing here. Okay. Then you want to make two of these squiggly signs, squiggly braces. The uh, seven, those? alt seven. Yeah, I know the mic's in the way. Alt, alt seven. seven. Alt seven. Alt gar seven. Okay. There, there we go. <laughs> we need a tutorial in basic <laughs> Windows keyboard handling, okay? And then let me just speed this up. There you go. And then you want to make a little mm -hmm. thingy there. Okay, good. Okay. Now, so if I just want you to see what what does this say here? So if this happens, mm. something in the program will happen in here. <laughs> it will all be true. <laughs> <laughs> it will all be true, right? That's good. Yeah. No lies. No lies. <laughs> exactly. So if this is true, but what if I did this? If one equals to two, is that true? Is nope. one two? It's not, right? So it will all be lies. So what will happen in here? What will happen in here? Will anything happen here? No. It won't, right? Good. It will skip this. So if this is true, only then it will go in here. Mm -hmm. If it's false, it will skip all of this. Okay. All right? So let's make it true. Let's say one equals one. And then I'll... I can write whatever and it will print out. Yeah, so write something in there. I want you to write something. Right. Remember how to write something out to the screen? Mm -hmm. Look down there for oh. tips. You okay. mean like that? Yes. See out and then. Okay. Okay. We'll keep it right here. Okay. And I want you to write it's all whatever truth or whatever you said. It's all true. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> Your types. <Okay, laughs> thank you. I'm, you're, you're okay. Now. Thank you. And then make a new line. End line. Wait, wait. I'm not done yet. <laughs> what else can you do? <laughs> can you. <laughs> Oh, good, good, good. And then you want to end line before that. Do I write end line? Yeah, so what you do is, uh, this is the end of the line, right? So the end of your statement. You want to do that before you end. You want to do it like this, see, at the bottom? Oh. So before that, you write end line. Good, good job. No. Learning. 
You're end learning. Line. Good, good, nice. Okay, so end line. So, if but, this. But I don't have end line here. Uh, the women are on yeah, this right. Yeah, I mean, you could have there if you wanted to. It would be a good thing to have it there, actually. But I think but we forgot. Or I tried oh, to show okay. you something and we removed it, remember? Okay, yeah. Okay, so what happens now? If we run this, this program. I want Did I mess it up? No. Yeah, you don't need a lot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't do things I don't tell you. Okay, <laughs> okay, See, it's all true. It came there. And now right at age, it doesn't matter. That's from the old program. Let's say you're 77 years old. <laughs> I need to learn programming. Okay, now. yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm a little. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, okay, look, I just wanted to test that. So, what okay. happens now? So, if one is two, what is this gonna say here? Nothing. Nothing. It's all I'll lies. let you do the honors. Click on that. It's all lies, baby. Okay, so it didn't print that out, right? Huh? Okay. Yes, I'm on board. <laughs> It didn't it didn't print that out. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna keep your age thing. Okay? Please write my age. We'll keep this. Okay. And then we're gonna use this variable in our new if statement. Okay? So I want you to write an if statement here. Oh, I'm first gonna tell you what you have to do. So I want you to write an if statement okay. where you check if your age is your actual age. Okay? So so how did you write an if statement? Let's start with that. Uh, it was if and then there was, there was... Uh-huh. Where are those? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, good, good. And then... So in uh, here... One... Yeah, you don't have to write one equals one, but, but that was just an example. So okay. what, what I want to check in this if statement, if, if your age, whatever you write in here, mm -hmm. in here, is equal to your real age. So how would you speak to a per or, or like speak in English this this sentence like if Jutti's age is 27, 26? Oh my god! 20, oh, 25? Are you married? <laughs> Are you married? Are you really married? 25? I don't keep track. Okay, fine. I think you want to be okay. So I told you. I said 27. Wow. You're even making it hard on me. So if 27 doesn't make sense, right? We want to make sure if Jutti's age is 27. So mm -hmm. how do you write that? How would you guess? If you want to check what is in here if that is equal to 27. And I write Jutti's age equal to? Mm -hmm. And then is it one equal to or two equal to? One? And or why, why do you need two? Because two it's equal to. yeah, two equal to. Because it's two different things. This I should explain as well. When you're giving something a value, if you're saying just this age is zero, is equal to, you're giving it a value, then you use one. Two equal signs is a whole different thing. It's comparison. So it's comparing what is on the left to the right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you're so right, I should do I should do another one. Yeah. Because you're comparing here, you're otherwise you're saying oh. this age is 27. You're gonna put it into that box. You don't want to do that. Okay. You're checking here. You're asking the application. Okay, that's like a question mark. It's like a question. So is so this age 27? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. All right, guys, girls. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Uh, you're gonna be learning a lot more in the next one. But yeah, you're gonna have to take a little break here. All right. But you've been yeah. doing really good. You've been doing really good. I'm really proud of you. And yeah, proud keep of you too. keep working hard. All right. Keep working hard and yeah check out the description box drop a like subscribe as always check out her channel as well all that stuff hopefully you guys are enjoying all this content and hopefully you're working hard as well all right best of luck to you all and we'll see you in the next one all right bye bye, -bye. bye, -bye.